Three times, Republican Governor Susana Martinez has tried to repeal the state law that allows illegal immigrants to get a driver's license. And she will soon try it again. With a powerful senator now gone, Democrats will vote this weekend to fill his important post at the Roundhouse, a vote that's expected to have a big impact on what the governor wants. News 13's Krista Gutierrez is in the Newsplex with details. Kim, the position is a Senate president pro tem, previously held by former Senator Tim Jennings, who lost his re-election bid last month. Now, whoever replaces him will play a big role in big issues like driver's licenses for illegal immigrants. It's really a real key dynamic in terms of whether the governor will get what she wants or have a very uphill battle. UNM political professor Gabriel Sanchez says this weekend is crucial to see what will happen in the next legislative session, especially when it comes to bills the governor will try to get passed this time around. The Republican governor's push to repeal the law that allows illegal immigrants to have driver's licenses has been a heated debate between her and the Democrat majority legislature. This past election, the governor's PACs poured money into to trying to bump two key senators out of office and out of their high-powered positions. She succeeded with one. Tim Jennings lost his election. His position is now up for grabs. And five Democrats are named as possibly filling that post. Senators Mary Kay Papin of Las Cruces, Howie Morales of Silver City, Carlos Cisneros of Cuesta, Linda Lopez of Albuquerque, and Pete Campos of Las Vegas. All of them are not exactly champions of the governor's agenda. Sanchez says there are talks Campos is the front runner. He's already made his opinion known about the repeal of the state's driver's license law in a letter on his own website, saying he favors the Senate's measure over the governor's. If he were to emerge, you're likely to see that compromise bill that would basically allow undocumented immigrants to have access to a driver's license, but with a lot more requirements and restrictions. The governor might have a better stance with another person on the list for the position. Mary Kay Papin might be the person that has the greatest potential to support some of the governor's agenda. In the end, Sanchez says the governor's push to bump the moderate Jennings out may backfire. You're going to have somebody who is more of a left-leaning Democrat that's probably going to be more of a thorn in the governor's side. Now, Gabriel Sanchez says since the governor's PACs were not successful in bumping out Senate Majority Leader Michael Sanchez, that could be really bad for her. If Sanchez can get a liberal ally to get the president pro tem position, his influence will increase. Sanchez can stop a bill before it even gets to vote. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Crystal. Now, Senate Democrats will caucus this Sunday to fill the pro tem position. If they cannot get a majority vote on a Democrat, then the Republicans will get a chance to vote in one of theirs.